from I'llNeverForgetIt.com. Uh, today's how-to video is how to install and work with Ubuntu Linux. Now, if you do know what that means, and I'm hoping you do, um, it's a different operating system like Windows or Macintosh or anything else like that. But um, Ubuntu Linux is one of a bunch of different Linux, and it happens to be the most popular version. Here we have the official Ubuntu CD, which we requested from the website uh, www.ubuntu.com. You can either do what we did and request the CD, or you can download the image file and burn it onto a CD if you're a little more geeky like that. Alright, so here we are on the Ubuntu website, and as you can see, it looks pretty simple. Ubuntu 9.10 is here. Blah 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 blah. You can download it or you can take the tour. We're going to skip the tour. We're just going to go straight to the download page where you can get Ubuntu. Alright, now see? Very nice, you know. Begin download right there. There it is. Bam. If you want to burn it to a CD image. If you don't want to do that, you can click Get Ubuntu on CD or DVD. And you can make a request. And the CD will arrive within five or six weeks. You can get the server edition or the desktop edition. Now, if you're just a person using a regular old computer, you want to get the de desktop edition because you're probably not going to do what a server does. Okay, so now you either have to have one of two things, the CD that you requested or the CD that you burned. I'm not saying you need both. All right, so we're going to take the CD that we requested and we're going to put it in our CD drive and we're going to close it. Assuming the computer you have runs Windows, there's a program that starts up automatically that you can use to just install it right in there. We're going to wait for that to pop up real quick here. And it says, run program. We're going to click on that. We're going to click yes. And it's going to say demo and full installation or install inside Windows or learn more. We don't want to get rid of Windows in our case, so we're just going to click Install Inside of Windows. And then you have all these different options, installation drives, installation size, desktop environment, language, username, and the password when you make it. So we're going to configure this all nice here. So I only have one hard drive in my computer, so I'm going to use that one. And I want the installation size to be... Oh, we're going to say 30 gigabytes. I want the desktop environment to just be regular old Ubuntu because we don't want to get into the details of that. I want my language to be English because I speak it. My username is Bobby because that's my name. And the password is going to be WordPass. So generic that no one will ever guess it. And we're going to click install. And then it's going to do its thing. And it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. And so we're just going to skip all of that. All right, so we're done with our installation. And it took about 10 minutes. So it gives us two options, we can reboot now or we can manually reboot later. Since we've really got nothing to do, we're going to reboot now. After, it, oh, after it's done with the installation, it's going to eject your CD. Then you just don't need it anymore, but you might want to keep it for safekeeping or to give it to somebody else to install Ubuntu. After all, if it wasn't a good operating system, we wouldn't be making a video about it, now would we? All right, so Windows Boot Manager, if you're running Windows 7, will actually give you the choice between Windows 7 or Ubuntu. Uh, it will do the same thing in Windows Vista, and if you have Windows XP, Ubuntu will put in its own boot manager, which will allow you to choose between the two of them. So we're going to click Ubuntu. And it's going to do its thing. Look here, looks complicated, runs pretty fast. And now it starts up. You got the shiny little white looking Ubuntu logo. 
It's just going to be there quick. Keep in mind that we are running this for the first time, and so it's got a lot of things it's doing that it doesn't normally do when it's already installed. Now it's checking the installation. It's making sure for you that everything you did was done right, even though it did most of it for you. It's got to scan your disk, it's got to do all this stuff and that and things. Eventually a bigger window is going to pop up and it's just going to keep doing what it's doing, is checking the installation. And as you see, there's a Firefox logo right there, that's because that it's native on Ubuntu. And um, a bunch of other applications and it gives you this nice slideshow which gives you information about some of the things that you can do in Ubuntu. But literally the possibilities are almost endless and they're all free which is just great. Alright, so after a few slides in about two minutes, our installation is done. Alright, so after your computer finishes checking its installation, it's going to immediately want to restart. After that, bam, you're in Ubuntu. And you can do just about anything with it. It's kind of like a Mac and Windows um, it's kind of like a Mac in the sense that you have more than one workspace down here, and you can add more. Um, kind of like Windows in the sense that you can right-click with your mouse. Um, you have preferences, you have administration, you have all these different applications, and Ubuntu 9.1 comes with the Ubuntu Software Center. It used to be in Ubuntu that you had to run something called the Terminal and you had to type in sudo apt-get and then the name of the application. If you typed in any of that wrong, you wouldn't install your application. Or you had to download a big package file that you had to run in terminal and install that. Now they have an installer for you. Alright, so you finished installing Ubuntu. We do encourage that you play around with this and feel free to experiment with anything you would like about it. It is free and open source and anything you do cannot and will not be counted against you. Um, in, our next, in our next video we will explain how to use Ubuntu more in depth. And This has been a presentation by I'llNeverForgetIt.com. Thank you for watching.